So my name is Sabina and I'm the president of the European Commission and also the head of the European delegation. And so far it's been an amazing um, experience. We've talked to people from all around the world, people from Asia, from Africa, North America here, talking about pressing issues, uh, pressing issues uh, that are important for, for young people mainly, such as, such as youth unemployment. And recommendations, like five recommendations of her panel and like ten recommendations of her I have a long year um, experience when it comes to MAN conferences and I can see the difference between this Wyatt Summit and MAN conferences, uh, which I'm really pleased to see. that really brings with us all is that we want to have a certain amount of impact of the coming together of all these young minds here is to not only just discuss and network amongst ourselves but to really create a, a type of policy implementation that will be worth looking at for anyone who, who does find it on their path. Uh, and Beza is essentially a system whereby anyone can make transactions, monetary transactions, with their phone number. So they just send an SMS to someone else and say, I sent $5 in payments to you. Hi, my name is Guillaume. I'm part of the delegation of the European Union at the Y8 Summit and I'm fulfilling the role of Sherpa. Um, being a Sherpa is a very versatile function in terms of you're supposed, you have to go in all the different panels and check what's going on. Uh, what is your your delegation stance on, on different topics and how is it uh, being in conflict with other delegations and you have to report it to your heads of state. I think it's really interesting because you get a sense of what's going on in the whole in the whole summit in all different panels. We came up with a, with a really nice compromise and it's on the table so if you should have told us that... Actually, on behalf of young people, what the influence on them would be of these decisions, which is why we're trying to formulate a consensus around these teams, together with all these young people from all around the world, uh, in order to achieve something, to influence the debate on this, to push forward the debate in function of our generation, the young people, the leaders of the future. The European Union is relatively new to the Y8 Summit, so we just had to create YouTube channels, Twitter channels, get known by um, by Google and everything, all these search engines, so that you guys can find us on all our channels. Actually, how I really just not my you, Alex, is not my point. We should focus on the thinking goals like Francisco and said the electricity and energy is an important issue, and we focus on that and then some Draw a line. I give you five. Good work, um, Draw a line onto that. That's some good stuff. Five minutes. Within five minutes. Come back. Yes. We are just outside the negotiation room, all the foreign policy where we discuss Syria. And I have to say, it's an intense and uh, very firing debate of, of the topic. Within the refugees camp, we have been talking about education and reconciliation and also improving the mentally. Uh, well-being of children and uh, kind of create a sense of uh, normality within the refugee camps what I is really working for and as my engagement to work with kids uh, I think it's a very important issue and I'm really pressing it for the behalf of the European delegation. Uh, today was the last day of negotiations and we mostly discussed uh, mitigation and adaptation to climate change. One of the issues that uh, we agreed on was uh, the mandatory reporting of chemicals in production. Um, another issue that, we, uh, that was very uh, close to my heart was uh, providing more incentives to businesses who take uh, climate change into account in their business activities so that we may promote green growth and uh, green jobs in the future. Yeah, it was really crazy because back then it was already almost midnight and you had like all the Sherpas and all the head of states still debating about the final communique and this like Athens style democracy surrounding and you could just really see how involved everybody was. And of course I was there trying to, trying to capture it but um, yeah, being there with all these people in this situation is of course amazing. Oh We'll all have very interesting things to recommend to all of you and, and to perhaps consider how Europe uh, especially can get more involved in this global future. Exactly, because we're not doing it for ourselves, but we're doing it for you.